All right, I'm going to walk you guys through using the square root property here where we have parentheses around x uh, and a square on the outside. All right, the first step we're going to do is to square root both sides. When I square root both sides, I have to stick a plus or minus in front of the square root of 6. All right, so I get x minus 2 because the square and the square root undo each other plus or minus the square root of 6. Okay, And then I need to add 2 to both sides. Alright, so I'm adding 2, adding 2, and I get x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of 6. First question, can I simplify the square root of 6? No, it is simplified. Because what is 6? 6 is 2 times 3. Uh, 2 and 3 are both prime, and are either one of those perfect squares, meaning if I were to ask you, hey, what's the square root of 2, or hey, what's the square root of 3, do we know it? No, our calculator would know it, but we don't know it off the top of our head. All right, and so how would we actually type this in my math lab? You would type x equals 2 plus the square root of 6. That's one of our answers. And our other answer is 2 minus the square root of 6. All right, 